Kam Kam Buri Jigogo. Alright, saa tano dakika kumi na tatu na in studio just as last week to kona Kathleen Muravi. Kathleen, 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 right? Yes, Kathleen Muravi yuko hapa na yeye ni head of training coolest autonomy na leo hii tunazungumzia masuala ya debt management. Kwa unajua kila mmoja tukizungumzia masuala ya debt ama deni inatuhusu watu wengi sana, watu wengi sana hata mimi na news in one way or the other. Kwa sababu I am so sure natafuta mtu ambaye hadaiwi kidogo inakuwa ni ngumu kupata. Yes. So tunazungumzia masuala ya debt management. Pengine unadaiwa, ulichukua mkopo sehemu fulani. Ule mkopo kidogo unaanza kukulemea kulipa. Ama tunataka pia tujue kuna kuna haja ya kuchukua mkopo ama if we can avoid kuchukua mikopo then we avoid it all together. Na tena maybe kama maybe tume tumechukua mikopo na kuna sehemu fulani ambayo tunataka kuwekeza sawa, mambo yawe vizuri. Yaani ule mkopo malize kulipa, alafu timilize mambo yako. You are in the right place. Uko na swali 0719739487 pale kwa WhatsApp ama 24047. Eh conversation itakuwa ni very very interesting kwa sababu tutaweza kujifunza mambo mengi tu siku ya leo. So Kathleen, karibu sana kwa Radio 47. Asante sana. Again, weekend ilikuwa aje? Ilikuwa poa sana. Mhm. Ilikuwa fupi lakini. Umulifanya eh watu wanasema weekend ilikuwa fupi tarehe 22 sasa hiyo nyingine siku ilikuwa tumelala. Ilikuwa fupi sana. Unajua sisi Centro na Mitu kwa na event ya uh-huh. entrepreneurs pale museum. Ah. All hands on deck. Oh, kwa hiyo mlikuwa eh, na event. Eh, mlikuwa na event. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. okay. But all the same tuko sawa, mm-hmm. mali ndio imefika, mm. tuchape kazi. Tuchape kazi. kazi. Nataka tu tuanze immediately hata tusipoteze wakati. Okay, okay. Uki, tukizungumzia debt ama deni mm. in financial terms mm. ni nini? Deni ni kitu in this case mm-hmm. pesa ambayo una o mtu. Mhm. So nikikupatia 500 saa hii uko na deni yangu mm-hmm. ya 500. Lakini hiyo ndio inakuanga tu language. Kwa ground vitu zinakuanga different. Mm-hmm. Tunasemanga the price of money is interest. Mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo sitakuwa na expect unipatie 500. Nitakuwa na expect unipatie 500 na baby mi Izai kuliko yes, na riba. Yes, uh-huh. yes, yes. So kila kitu iko na price yake hata okay. deni. Okay. Kwa hivyo ni vizuri sana hata tukiongelea mambo ya deni. Kama uko na deni na unajua dawa ya deni lazima utalipa mm. ama kama unafikiria kuchukua deni lazima tu uko ume realize kuna price yake iko pale. Mm-hmm. Kama unachukua deni kwa mtu na hakupati hiyo information, huyo ni mtu wako hapo anataka tukukutumia vibaya. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, kwa hiyo unasema tukichukua deni ni lazima ile interest uwe tuwe tumejitarisha kuilipia. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Na kama haujui vile utailipia, kuna zile maswali unafaa uulize. Mm-hmm. Unaona? Kwa mm-hmm. sababu utapata kuna deni zingine hautapatiwa information yote. Mm-hmm. Na tumeona unapata mtu ameenda amenunua pikipiki for example, mm-hmm. analipa yeye but with time unaona imekuja imechukuli, imechukuliwa. Ni kumaanisha kuna kitu hakuambiwa. Ndio unajua ukisaini hiyo karatasi hapo umeshajiuza. Mm-hmm. So kama hauelewi kitu hapo, unaona sasa mwisho wa utakuja kuumia. Mm-hmm. So zile maswali before useme mimi nachukua hii deni ask as many questions as possible hata zile unaona ni hizi ni swali stupid questions ziulize hapo mm-hmm. na ukiona kuna mtu haezi kujibu hizo maswali basi huyo si mtu mwaminifu okay yes. so tunaweza kupata wapi kama maybe mimi natafuta mikopo mm-hmm. which are the popular um, places mm-hmm. watu wanaendaga kuchukua mm-hmm. deni mm-hmm. alafu tena nataka tushikanishe hilo swali mm-hmm. na tujue mm-hmm. is there a good debt mm-hmm. and is there a bad debt mm-hmm. kuna deni nzuri na kuna deni mbaya yes kuna deni nzuri na kuna deni Mm-hmm. Mwanzo tuambie watu watu sana sana mm-hmm. in your line of work. Mm-hmm. Umeona watu wanaenda kuchukua mikopo mm-hmm. sehemu gani? Mm-hmm. Maybe na biashara. Mm-hmm. The first place ambayo nitafikiria kwenda kuchukua mikopo mm-hmm. huwa ni wapi? Mm-hmm. And is it advisable? Mm-hmm. Maybe tuseme nimeenda kama kwa bank. Mm-hmm. Nimeenda kuchukua mkopo huko. Mm-hmm. Ama nimeenda kwa Shylock mm-hmm. nikaenda kuchukua mkopo huko. Mm-hmm. Ama nimeenda nikakopa kwa maybe hapa kazini mm-hmm. nikasema nipatie ni mkopo mm-hmm. alafu hata interest ikija hata 20% I don't care I just need the money mm-hmm. right now. Mm-hmm huwa ina depend mm-hmm. na purpose ya hiyo deni. Utapata zingine ni emergency. Mm-hmm. Ndio maana hata mtu atakikimbia kwa shail okay hafikiri mm-hmm. ya anataka tu hiyo pesa adil na hiyo emergency. Lakini kama uko kwa biashara, unakumbuka last week tulisema ni vizuri kwa umejipa, umejipanga ile budget yako uifuate vizuri. Ndio ikifika mahali unataka kuchukua deni, hiyo ni deni inakuja kusaidia biashara si deni ya personal use. Mm-hmm. Na hapo ndio watu huwa wanaibia biashara zao. Unakosa kuheshimu biashara unaenda unachukua loan Uh, na collateral na documents za biashara unaenda kufanyia kazi zako huko ikifika mahali unafanya biashara imekuwa kubwa unaanza kufanywa audit una realize haya 
hii pesa nilitumia kufanya hii na hii na hii na bado utali na bado utalipa. utalipa. Sasa zingine utapata watu wanaenda kuchukua loan pahali pesa zao huwa zinaenda. Mm-hmm. So kama una bank unaweka pesa yako kwa banka hapo mm-hmm. ndio utakimbili, utakimbilia. Kwa sababu hao wako na history, wako na information ya kuonesha cash flow yako inakaje. Unaona? Mm-hmm. Kama umechukua deni kwingine wako na access, wanaweza pata access na hapo ndio CRB huwa inaingilia. Mm-hmm. Unaona huyu ni mtu anaweza lipa. Tunaitanga credit score. Credit score ya huyu mtu iko aje. Kama anaitisha loan ya 300 anaweza lipa hiyo 300,000 within hiyo duration yenye tuna tunataka kukubaliana na yeye. Mm-hmm. Uh, utapata sako. Sako pia utaona uh, kama una, unaweka pesa yako kwa sako itakuwa pa itakuwa pale. Tena ina depend na type ya loan. Mm-hmm. Kuna zile secured na kule zile ziko unsecured. Unaona? Okay. Sako utapata hao wanaweza kupatia unsecured lakini kuna wale guarantors. Unaona? So hata before so tuki, 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 hapo, tukisema mm-hmm. secured and secured mm-hmm. in simple terms. Secured, tofauti ni gani? Secured ni ile iko back up na collateral mm-hmm. unaona so for collateral example, tupatie mfano sasa kola, eh, collateral sasa ni ninachukua loan ninunue pikipiki ama ninachukua mm-hmm. loan ninunue dryer ya, ya salon okay. for example mm-hmm. unaona nikipoa hiyo loan hiyo dryer si yangu kabisa hiyo pikipiki si yangu kabisa in the event ni default in the event ukose kulipa nikose kulipa vile inastahili mm. unaona wanakuja kuchukua watakuja waichukue okay. unaona unsecure sasa ni ile what, ni ku, personal agreement mm-hmm. na sako zingine zinakuanga hivyo wewe leta garanta unaona huyu garanta usipolipa tutadeal na huu tutadeal na huyu, na huyu. Okay. zingine banks zingine utaona kama uko na mshahara sio unaona wale wako na regular in, uh, flow of mm-hmm. income mm-hmm. unaweza enda pale wakuambie unaweza access up to this amount depending na ile mshahara yako vile unaipa unaipata sasa hapo ndio tofauti okay. Okay. unaona yeah. so before hata ujue nataka kwenda kuchukua deni mahali unachukua deni type gani. Unaona? Ah, na tumesema kuna good debt na kuna bad debt. Sasa good debt ni ile. Nakumbuka last week tukiongelea kuna mtu alikuwa anauza smoky. Mm. Mtu kama huyo akienda kuchukua deni, hiyo itakuwa good debt kama anapeleka hiyo pesa kwa biashara. Mm-hmm. Good debt ni ile pesa unachukua inakuja kukupeleka unaipeleka mahali itaza. Mm-hmm. Unaona? Mm-hmm. Inaweza kuwa labda unataka kununua shamba na umefanya research yako umeona hii shamba ni tatu sahii lakini mm-hmm. in the next 2 3 years itakuwa inaenda na 500,000. Mm-hmm. So ninaweza chukua ninunue ile shamba with the, with the intent nitaiuza nipate ile profit ya profit yangu. Bad debt sasa ni ile E, mwenzako kwa kona TV kubwa wewe unataka kununua TV mm. pia wewe mm. sasa so, unaenda unachukua deni ununue ununue TV hiyo mm. TV haitakuletea pesa kwa hivyo hata kulipa ile deni utakona unajiongezea expenses zako on top of zile zenye uko na zile uko nazo na kwa hivyo hakuna kujisaidia unajisaidia hapo okay. ama hata credit cards mm-hmm. wewe umekimbilia juu unaona credit card the, the benefit of it ni spokuwa na pesa sintalipa tu mm. but nimekuambia the price of money is interest pia hiyo kuna interest maha mahali na ukicheza nayo utakuja kujipata CRB sasa okay mm. aya sasa nataka tena tuzungumzie tu maybe masuala ya eh, in simple terms depreciating assets mm-hmm. na zile ambazo ni fixed assets mm-hmm. so n- mimi nime, nime, n- maybe na nimeona niko hapa kazini mm-hmm. naona watu wengi wananunua gari mm-hmm. so nasema mm, tapia mimi mm-hmm. i think it's high time mm-hmm. i buy myself a car mm-hmm. nenda nachukua mkopo mm-hmm. na nunua gari gari langu personal personal car mm-hmm. sitaki kutumia kwa biashara manini manini mm-hmm. alafu mwingine anasema kwamba mimi nataka ninunue nyumba kwa hiyo tunaenda tuna apply loan at the same time tunapatiwa mkopo maybe mm-hmm. mkopo wa 500,000 mm-hmm. tunachukua mimi nanunua gari yeye anaenda anaekeza ananunua nyumba so pale nani hapo atakuwa amecheza vizuri na in this case which one is most advisable to do na gani ambayo nyoo ukiangalia utasema kwamba hiyo kidogo kitakuramba mimi huwa nasema personally mm-hmm. my personal financial management journey ni tofauti na mm-hmm. mtu mwingine mm-hmm. unaona kama unataka kununua gari na unaona itakusaidia kuna ile kitu inaitangwa convenience mm-hmm. by all means nunua lakini kumbuka what is the cost of this financing mm-hmm. unaona kuna yule mwenye anasema anataka kununua nyumba ye ako anataka hiyo freedom ataki kushinda melipa rent unaona sasa the goal is very different mm-hmm. however ukiangalia gari na venye unataka kuitumia that is a flaw set it's a depreciating asset kwa sababu hiyo gari the moment imetoka hiyo showroom haitauzwa the same price ikitakuwa ina depreciate mm-hmm. unaona inashuka, inashuka. Mm-hmm. na kama hauitumi kufanya biashara kama hiyo gari ni ya kutoka kwa nyumba uende kwa ofisi jioni urudi hapo mm-hmm. hakuna kujisaidia unajisaidia because in actual sense kuna pesa utakuwa unalipa kila mwezi towards the na kufai. service loan yangu kule yes kuli. unaona yule mwingine atachukua aende ajenge nyumba in the event something happens huyo anaweza rent hiyo nyumba yake mm-hmm. 
na afanye nini aweze ku adjust lifestyle yake lakini sasa wewe utajisaidia hapo aje mm-hmm. unaona so depending on where you are when it comes to your journey mambo ya pesa hapo lazima ujiulize zile mas- you know those questions those deep questions ni vizuri kuonekana unaendesha gari mzuri ni vizuri kuonekana uko na nyumba mzuri lakini sasa at this point in your life ni nini ya muhimu sasa unaona na ukiangalia finances zako kuna security first of all mm-hmm. kwa sababu ukikosa kwenda kazi what will happen ukiachishwa kazi leo what will happen so these are some of the questions that you need to ask yourself otherwise ndio unapata watu wameingia kwa madeni mtu hata anapata depression wengine hata wanajiua kwa sababu unajiuliza sasa hapa hata nikitaka kutoka nitatoka nitatoka aje unakuwa ni kama umeshikwa hey, umeshikwa, umeshikwa kabisa hey, kabisa okay mm. Aya, endelea kama uko na swali by the way um, in studio tuko na madam eh, Kathleen Muraithi ambaye ametoka kule Sentonomi na ni head of training pale na tunazungumzia masuala ya debt management. So if you have a question kwake ama kama maybe wewe uko na deni mahali na unataka unatafuta mbinu za kuilipa this is the correct platform atatuko na tupatia sense of direction 0719739487 pale kwa WhatsApp ama 24047 pale kwa SMS. Sasa hivi ni satano dakika ka 24 ndio radio 47 hapa ndipo mimi naitwa Mkamburi Chigogo na bado tuko ndani ya mchikicho Money Mondays that's what we're talking about lakini tukiendelea kuzungumzia masuala ya Money Mondays kumbuka we still want you to make your way to Mombasa Mombasa tunasija unabonyeza star 448 hash wa kuletea vikapu tano you get to decide ni kapu gani unataka kupick kati ya vile vikapu tano ukisema ni kapu number 3 unafungulia ile kapu number 3 alafu whatever is inside there kama ni gift maybe tuseme umejishindia bonge la TV flat screen TV 65000 yeah the 65 inch 65000 65 inch flat screen TV iko pale unasema unaenda unafukua kapu ile flat screen TV umejishindia bila wasiwasi kama ni ile 100000 then that is also yours kama ni 50000 ile pia ni ya kwako okay unabonyeza star 448 hash all the best and then bado tukukumbushe kuendelea kutenda wema na radio 47 hii ni juhu hudi ambayo sisi kama Radio 47 tume partner na shirika la mimi ni sisi ili kuleta mabadiliko mema katika jamii. Tunataka kusaidia familia ambazo hazijiwezi ambao hawana makao, watoto ambao pengine wameweza kupata watoto na masuala kama chakula, dawa na usaidizi mwingine inakuwa kidogo ni noma kupatikana. Unachagia tu shilingi moja na senti uh, shilingi moja na sumni ukakubonyeza star 354 star 47 hash alafu pesa zinatolewa kwenye airtime ya kwako hakuna mkato wote ambao unatoka kwenye mpesa yako wala mpesa hayusiki ni rahisi kuchangia na itakuchukua tu kama tuseme dakika kumi hivi ukibonyeza hiyo star 354 star 47 hash ukichangia hiyo shilingi moja yako na somni utaweza kutumiwa cheti cha kidijitali ama digital certificate kuonyesha kwamba tayari umetenda wema na radio 47 okay so tuzidi kushikana mkono tuendelee kutenda wema katisi of radio 47 na mimi ni sisi mchikicho na mkamburi chigogo radio 47 hapa ndipo Satano dakika 27 ndani ya Radio 47 hapa ndipo bado tunazungumzia chapa tunazungumzia masuala ya deni na tunazungumzia mambo ya debt management kama kawaida vinapo mwambia every single monday watu wataka kutatua hizi shida zetu za pesa so that tujiset vizuri tukifika mwisho wa mwaka sisi wote tunafurahi na unajua hizi advice it's very good advice actually ukisikiza tu vizuri na witilie maanani mm-hmm. utakuwa mahali pazuri so Kathleen mm-hmm. How much debt is too much debt? Yaani nitafika mahali gani nione kwamba sasa sasa hivi kidogo I'm in the red. Kuna kitu tunaitanga capacity ya yeah, mm. risk. What is your risk capacity? Unaweza chukua deni ya 300 mm-hmm. na labda wewe ulikuwa unahitaji deni ya 100, 1100. Kuna ku, as human beings kuna ile kitu tunakwanga nayo inaitangwa greed. Mm-hmm. Unajua hii pesa si yako ni vile umekuwa na very good outstanding financial uh, responsibility tumeona sisi kama bank tunaweza kupatia up to 300,000 wewe unaenda unachukua hiyo and in actual sense you don't even need that, that mm-hmm. money so when when you're thinking about that question you can get up to the limits unaweza ta exhaust limit yako lakini do you have capacity to pay mm-hmm. money has a price 
hiyo interest na unajua kitu kingine hizi ni information hatupatangi jua hata sasa sasa even for example leo mwenye alikuwa anaenda kununua uh, nyumba si atachukua mortgage mm. si ndio mm. Unajua banks huwa wanajilipa kwanza. Mm-hmm. Atachukua hiyo loan ya 500,000 ambayo interest yako ukiangalia pale before sign utambua interest yako itakuwa maybe 300,000. Kwa hivyo in actual sense utakuwa unalipa 800. 800. Mm. Lakini ukilipa the first deduction utambua uko na 25,000 every month. Hiyo 25,000 haiendi kukata ile 500. Inaenda kukata ile hii ile 300 ile, ile 300 mm. so utadhani unalipa deni yako lakini banks ndio wanajilipa kwa unaona sasa hiyo kujipenda sasa ujipende na ujiweke mahali ile sitaki kujiweka ina position yenye mimi mwenyewe naumia mm-hmm. unaona and ukuwe na very good relationship with your relationship managers kama ni hiyo sako au watu wenyewe wanakupigia simu ama zile namba ziko pale piga simu ask as many questions as possible kwa sababu pesa nayo utapata lakini swali ni unatumiaje hiyo pesa utapata mm-hmm. yes ah uh, sasa tukichukua pengine tuseme umechukua mkopo nilichukua mkopo 2012 mm-hmm. wakaniweka hata CRB nikasema mm-hmm. tu ni sawa niyekeni mimi mm-hmm. i don't care mm-hmm. it's okay mm-hmm. Inaweza kufika mahali maybe mimi kama mfanyibiashara najiambia kwamba ah hiyo deni sasa hii imechoka hiyo deni nilichukua 2012 sasa <laughs> iko 2024 like kweli watani die like imeisha hivyo is, is there something like that ambayo tunakwanga tunajidanganya ni ignorance tunakwanga mm-hmm. nayo dawa ya deni utalipa hata ukika 20 years utalipa mm-hmm. itafika mahali utakuja kukacha itakukacha up na hiyo nayo utalipa okay. na shida ni interest inaenda kufanya nini ile kipanda kipanda so hata ile deni ulikuwa unasema mimi nilichukua 50000 ah hata ni nayo utafika uh-huh. mahali sasa hata utakuwa unalipa more than hiyo 50000. Hapo sasa ndio unajiuliza nilikuwa najiingiza kwa hizi mambo za deni kwa nini? Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu hata ukiangalia labda hiyo pesa ulitumia 50000 haiku ikusaidie mm-hmm. vile ungetaka ikusaidie, ikusaidie. ikusaidie. Kwa hivyo the moment umechukua deni your first goal malizie hiyo deni as fast as possible. Mm-hmm. So hata kama umechukua deni ya 3 years kama unaweza malizia in 1 year please do. Okay. Kwa sababu hapo utalipa interest kidogo. Unanipata? Hiyo mm. ndio inakuanga the first thing that you need to do. Kuchukua deni strive as much as possible. Kama ni hiyo ya pikipiki ama ni hiyo ya gari unataka kuchukua umeambiwa utalipa within 48 months ama 36 months. If you can do that within 24 12 months. Malisa. Hata hata heribidi ujinyime. Uishi uishi hohe hahe hiyo mwaka lakini after that umemalizana na hiyo mambo ya de mambo ya deni. Okay. Yes. Aya sasa ni, ni, nataka sasa mimi turudi kwa yule mtu ambaye hana mshahara. <laughs> na mimi nategemea tu nategemea nachukua nachuk, mkopo ndo tuweze kula mm-hmm. hapa kwa nyumba mm-hmm. so maybe nimeenda nikachukua nikachukua deni hizi za mikopo ya simu mm-hmm. nikachukua nikajipa mm-hmm. nikajika mm-hmm. chakula pale nyumbani mm-hmm. haya kidogo kidogo kuna mtu ambaye nimesikia kuna Shylock mahali anapeana pesa nikaenda nikachukua pale kidogo nilipe school fees mm-hmm. e, then another time naenda pale dukani naenda nasema okay nifungulie kitabu Mm-hmm. ya ni uko na, nachukua kama nachukua blue band andika mm-hmm. kama nachukua sukari andika mm-hmm. is that advisable to do na maybe mtu kama yule atajitoa vipi kwa yale madeni tena kumbuka kwamba e, mshahara wake ama hana mshahara yeye anategemea ile hand to mouth kuna kitu tunasemanga financial control mm-hmm. na, and it's very sad kwa sababu wengi wetu huwa tunapitia hiyo hata wenye wana wako na pesa mingi mm-hmm. ikifika mahali hauna control ya finances unaweza jipata kwa shida kubwa sana. Ku handle hizo basic needs kama chakula, school fees na nini, kama unazichukua, kuwa na kitu inaitangwa debt repayment plan. Si ati ukae tu una hope kuna pesa itatoka mahali mm. utaenda ulipe hiyo, hiyo deni umechukua. Hata ukikaa pale ukisema nifungulie kitabu, jaribu kuelezea huyo mtu. Ninafungua hii kitabu kwa sababu sasa hivi sina hii pesa, lakini hii ndio plan yangu. Mm-hmm. Nitafanya hivi, nitafanya hivi. Na unajua sisi wote tunakuanga na skill set. Kuna ile kitu unaweza fanya vizuri sana na hiyo that is one of the easiest ways of making money. Ukae ujiangalie ni nini hiyo inaweza fanya vizuri sana. Uende uchaji mtu mia moja. Sasa tafuta kumi wengine. Mm-hmm. Unaona aya uendelee 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 si utafika mahali uko na pesa ya pesa ya kwa unaweza fungua biashara yako. Kwa hivyo usikae pale uwe, uwe expect na unajua the thing about life no one is coming to save you. Ni wewe mwenyewe ujiangalia nitajitoa aje kwa hishi kwa hishi na usijiongeze shida zingine zaidi ya shida. 
hapo tutaelewa kama ni basic needs lakini by the time unafika hapo kuwa na hiyo debt repayment plan najua okay nitaenda pale nifanye hii kazi eh, ama nifulie mtu nguo nipatie 200 nikuje nili nilipe mm-hmm. hivyo ndo tunaweza elewa lakini si ile unachukua unakaa pale unexpect pesa itatoka maha, mahali alafu the more you're doing it your goal inafaa kukuwa kuishi a debt free life kwa sababu deni ni kama kujienslave utaishi aje vizuri kama kila mahali unaenda unajiongezea shi unajiongezea shida hiyo debt repayment plan ni kitu muhimu last week situliongea about budget panga budget yako ndio hata kama unaenda mahali unapata 200 300 uh, budget yako ya siku ni 500 hawezi enda kutumia kufanya expenses za 700 huko unaona kuwa na budget very realistic handle zile essential tulisema essential ni vitu kama chakula school fees rent hizo kwanza ziweke pale unaona na ikifika mahali unapata pesa jumungu ni mzuri utaamka leo pate pesa mi utapate pesa mingi unaona kuwa na zile sinking funds ju unajua ikitafika mahali utaitishwa school school fees na ujue mtu atakishaanza shule hakuna siku utamwambia we baki nyumbani sasa na hakuna wakati utarudisha mtoto kwa tumbo ati sasa tu staki maneno unaona akishaanza shule ni marathon baka amalize so ukiwa na hizo sinking, sinking funds unajua hata kama ni e term nimemaliza kulipa next time but don't adai nitadaiwa na because sina income lazima nijipange unaona hasa hii niko na pesa kesho naweza kosa kuwa na nayo so nikiona hiyo sinking fund najua hapa nime nimejipanga school fees hata kama nitalipa hiyo mwezi moja mtoto wangu atasom, atasoma ama ile deni nilikuwa nayo nitailipa mm-hmm. hivyo sasa ndio mtu anafaa jipange kuwa na hiyo debt repayment plan otherwise sasa itafika mahali hata wewe utashindwa hapa ni wapi nimejileta okay kuna kwaga na kitu kama minimum ama maximum amount of debt you can take on yes hapo mm-hmm. sasa ndio credit score yako inachezea so hii kitu tunas- inasemekana credit score credit mm-hmm. Score, credit score mm-hmm. ni nini credit score ni unaona kama institu, financing institution kama bank sasa mm-hmm. wataangalia behavior yako so huyu anapata pesa kila mwezi pesa ngapi mm-hmm. unaona aya withdrawing anafanyaje unaona alafu kuna zile set limits wanasema ndio wewe uweze kupata up to this amount at the very least kwa bank yako lazima kuwe na hii pesa unaona na hawata kuambia mhm yeye hawata kuambia utaenda tu pale uambiwe e, wewe unaweza borrow up to 200 unashindwa mbona 200 mwenzako atambua wewe unaweza borrow up to 1 million unashindwa aje ni ile behavior uko nayo na pe na pesa unaona aya wengine watasema wewe tupatie pesa statements zako hiyo sasa ndio itaonesha wewe uko na capacity na kaaje alafu cash flow unajua sasa hiyo ndio kitu muhimu sana kwa sababu kama unapata hiyo cash flow ni kumaanisha unaweza lipa hiyo de hiyo de yode. lakini kawe ni mtu wa kuongoja mwisho wa mwezi ikifika mahali hauna hiyo kazi unaona sasa itakuwa risky sana huyu mtu kukupatia hiyo deni but kama uko na hiyo cash flow then ni ni muhimu na ndio maana unapata hata watu wa biashara sasa zingine hata ni, ni easy financing institution for example banks wanakupigia na kuambia tunapenda vile pesa yako ina inazunguka tunaweza kupatia deni okay. unaona hivyo sasa so hiyo ndo wanaangalia alafu hii in this era of data vitu kama sako with your consent hizo makaratasi huwa mnasema unakwanga mmepeana consent asako can give data kwa CRB for example so kama bank umeenda kuchukua deni kwa bank CRB uh, bank wataenda kutafuta kama uko wapi kwa CRB so kama ulichukua deni kwingine wewe umecho, umesema hiyo deni imechoka alafu una hepa unaenda kuchukua huko kwingine hiyo information bado wataipa wataipata so unaona sasa kama hiyo wakati ndio unahitaji hiyo pesa apo itakuja kukumiza juu hiyo pesa siungelipa tu kitambo sana hivyo sasa. Oh so nili, nili, nilichukua mkopo na simu hivi eh, alafu nikatoa hiyo simu card nikaitupa eh, nikasema ah, hata 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 jua ni mimi. Data lazima watapata. Aya. Mm. I, n- sasa turudi hapa kwa Shylox. Mm-hmm. Wewe kama maybe um, mtu ambao una deal na hela sana. Mm-hmm. Is it advisable mfanyi biashara mm-hmm. kwenda kuchukua pesa kwa Shylox mm-hmm. ama unaweza kuniambia kwamba you, you'd rather save your money mm-hmm. ama you'd rather take maybe tuseme mikopo kwa ndugu mm-hmm. familia mm-hmm. nini mm-hmm. something like that mm-hmm. ama go to an outside source wende ukachukua ile mikopo mm-hmm. Shylock la usijaribu mm-hmm. Shylock acha iko ni emergency case ile yenye uwezi pata pesa kwa bank wezi pata kwa marafiki wezi pata hapo kwa nini na maybe yeye ndo ananipa ile pesa ambayo nataka haraka haraka hakuna rafiki uko nayo ikifika wakati wa pesa unanga rafiki mm. na tulianza tukisema nini the price of money is what interest, interest. Awa watu wanakupatia pesa wanakupatia pesa juu pia wako kwa biashara wako kwa biashara so they want to maximize on the loan mm. atakupatia 30000 yes hapo tu si utapewa 30000 mm. uende uache kama ni mashini yako ama uache ile kitu utaacha hapo utakuja utapata ile interest ni zaidi hata ile ya bank mm-hmm. ni zaidi hata ile ya sako 
so hapo umejisaidia aje mm. au jojisaidia the other alternative is kama kuna marafiki wanaweza kusaidia hiyo pesa by all means explore your option mm-hmm. kwa sababu ikifika hapo hakunanga marafiki na sisi tumesema hata bank wamekupatia loan lakini wanaanza kujilipa wa kwanza mm-hmm. au unanga marafiki hapo kwa hivyo make sure ukishaanza kuchukua deni wewe mwenyewe umejipanga because you're the only person you've got okay hapo. yes sasa na maybe tuseme mimi nimeenda nikapewa mkopo mm-hmm. family friends kila mtu amejitolea mm-hmm. wakanipatia mkopo alafu nikasemekana kwamba utarudisha mm-hmm. then nikose kulipwa pesa zangu mm-hmm. so how how do we, how do i come up with a payment plan mm-hmm. mimi kama ambaye nimeenda kuchukua mkopo pale mm-hmm. ndo ni make sure kwamba nimelipa ile deni mm-hmm. on time mm-hmm. so nafikiri hapa tuzungumzie maswada ya payment plan mm-hmm. alafu kitu kingine tena mm-hmm. naweza kufungwa kwa sababu ya kutolipa deni eh hey. Sasa tupatie payment plan alafu utuambie Sasa, kama if, what right do you have mimi sina pesa <laughs> unanifungia nini what happens <laughs> what happens is that easy vitu zihu has na happen kwa circle mm-hmm. ume nime, mimi nimekuja kama garanta wako ama nimekupea pesa kama rafiki yako mm-hmm. unaona tumekubaliana kulikuwa na agreement mm-hmm. and verbal agreements are admissible in court mm-hmm. tulikubaliana as long as anaweza prove anaweza record kuna hizo whatsapp conversations mlikuwa mnaongelea ama phone unaona kuna recording or anything kuna hiyo agreement tulikuwa mm-hmm. nayo unanakupatia kupatia 50000 wewe hata stack interest mimi nirudishie 50000 ya yangu unaona alafu wewe mwenyewe hauna plan b mm-hmm. unajua pesa yenye si yako watu wengi huwa wanakosa kuipangia juu au hujafanyia kazi unaona wewe una plan b umeenda umechukua hiyo pesa umefanya mambo za mambo zako na mimi na hapa nangojea pesa ya pesa yangu i have all the rights kukupeleka mbele mm-hmm. i have all the rights number two, always have a plan b in the event kwenye nilikuwa natarajia kupata pesa yangu sijapata what next mm-hmm. Unaona? Sasa hii ni so, mimi mimi ambaye nakudai. Eh, eh. unaona what next? Unaona? That's why it's very important kuwa na tupesa tuwako kidogo mahali. Unaona? Unaweza kuwa labda uko na shilingi 10000 tu mahali vile hautaki kuitumia hapo. Ama it's not accessible. Maybe umeiweka mahali ume lock. In that event unaweza enda pale ukuje unifunge macho wiki mbili niambie aki mimi nimepata 7000 shi shika. Alafu uendele hivyo na hivyo mm-hmm. na hivyo kwa sababu mimi naweza kupeleka I have all the right naweza kupeleka mbele. Unaona? Number two, swali ya pili ilikuwa gani? Sasa a payment plan. Mm, payment eh. plan yes. Kuna vitu zinakuanga zinaitwa standing order. Uzuri wa technology sasa hii unaweza automate your process. Mm-hmm. Unaona? Pesa yako inaingia kwa hii bank. Mimi niko na account number yako. Nimekupatia pesa kama rafiki yako, kama rafiki yangu, si ndio? Na kupatia account number yangu. Enda uweke standing order. Na usahau kwa sababu hiyo pesa si yako ni nini kesi. Mimi nimekupatia hiyo pesa. So ile wakati pesa inaingia pale, kuna ile no, inaitangwa amortized. Hata ukienda kuchukua kwa bank, hauwezi siwezi chukua 500,000 leo alafu kesho kutoa nikuje nirudishe hiyo 1500. Aienda ngivo, inakuanga amortized. Lazima uilipe pole po, pole pole. Unafanya the same thing. So every month ndakuwa na goja kama 1500, 1500 mpaka ile wakati 50,000 yangu itakuwa ime, imeisha. That is one of the easiest ways. Hakuna mahali tutakosana kama marafiki na pesa yangu utali utalipa sina sina account sina nini sina nini mimi niko tu discipline mm. uko kijua mimi kila mwezi nafaa kupatia urafiki yangu pesa yake na usifanye ni kufuate sasa hapo ndio tunaribu urafiki mm-hmm. na labda next time naweza kusaidia hata na pesa bingi unaona hivyo sasa okay mm. na kuna hii dhana na tushasikia sana kwamba watu wanasema eh, in fact hata Kenya inadaiwa that is one mm. alafu yingine unaambiwa hakuna bilionea ambaye amekuwa bilionea mm. bila kuchukua deni ni kweli so, so tuki, tuki, tukisikia maongeo kama hayo na maybe mimi niko pale nyumbani na niko na dreams i also dream of becoming a billionaire mm. is it a route ungani advise nichukue ama ungesema kwamba kama unaweza ku save chapa yako mm. wewe save mm. uanzishe investments mm. with your own money wacha tuambiani ukweli mm-hmm. The only way you can progress in progress in life is through debt. Mm-hmm. At our billionaires and what at some point walichukua deni. Mikopo. Unaona? Hiyo mm. savings zako, hiyo salary yako, wealth. Una just autonomy tunasemanga nini? Wealth is the ability to live the life that you want without having to work. Mm-hmm. Trust me, salary yako haiwezi kufikisha hapo. At some point uta leverage mm-hmm. na hizi pesa za wengine. Unaona? Wende kwa bank upatue milioni yako tano wende ujenge rentals for mm-hmm. example mm-hmm. aya ulimalize kulipa rentals sasa ujenge zingine unaona there is no way salary yako itakufikisha itafik, pale so wewe ukiwa pale tumesema debt repayment plan na the price of money is interest hata wabilionaires wakienda kuchukua pale wanakaanga chini 
waangaliane hivi interest ya hii ni gani na by the way huwa wanajua ku negotiate sana ni hao mm-hmm. wewe utapatiwa labda na 16% yeye atasema mimi siwezi chukua na 16% mimi nipatie na 10 kwa sababu wanajua hapo ndio au bank ama au financing institutions wanatengeneza pesa za mm-hmm. pesa zao so it's very important mm-hmm. kabisa kabisa kama unachukua deni tulisema kuna good debt na kuna bad debt good debt ni ile unaiweka mahali na kuongezea pesa ya pesa mm. yako by all means you can do that lakini uko na kitu inaitwa debt repayment plan judawa uh, dawa deni nayo lazima utalipa mkolipa mm, aya naona deni imeanza kunilemea mm-hmm. so how do i pick myself up mm-hmm. and come out of it yani nikienda sasa nakwambia siwezi kuingia sehemu fulani kwa sababu mm. e, hapo kuna mm. kuna mtu kidogo anidai. Mm. Alafu tena pia kwa ile bank mm. siwezi mm. kufika hapo. Mm. E, tena ikifika ni family functions sitaki mm. kuonekana maana yake nimekopa <laughs> kila mtu pale. Eh, eh. So what and, and, and nimefika point I'm beginning to be mm. hopeless mm. with my money. Mm. Kwa sababu hata tumesikia watu wengi wana commit suicide yes. because unadaiwa huku unadaiwa huku unadaiwa huku. How do I gather myself mm-hmm. from that mm-hmm. mess? Mm-hmm your financial mm-hmm. mark yeah, yes. mess ambayo nimejiweka yes. nijikutekute na nipate kwamba okay sasa hivi nime mm. kidogo mm. i can start paying hata mm. before ufike hapo ni lazima tu kuwe honest honesty ni kitu very important nilikuja ku realize ukienda tu kwa bank si kuna ule relationship manager wako wende tu muambie hey, vile kuko saa hii mimi sioni kama nitalipa hiyo deni in the next six months mm-hmm. kwa nini pes- kazi ime, imeisha unaona wanakuanga na hiyo grace period na hiyo ni kitu wengi huwa hawajui sasa wewe kazi imeisha umenyama umenyamaza au hata hawajui kama kazi imeisha wanangoja uli ulipe unaona hapo haujisaidii mm-hmm. kuwa very honest with yourself pigie simu mwambie aki iko hivi na hivi sometimes huwa wanaelewa mm-hmm. unaona and kitu kitu ya honesty as a principle uta, uta kuja kupata mtu atataelewa situation yako unaona mm-hmm. kwa sababu mm-hmm. ndio uende uchukue ile pesa siku na ile reason ulikuwa nayo mm-hmm. labda ilikuwa emergency uende mm-hmm. muambie ai vile kumeenda sioni mm-hmm. kuwa tu honest alafu mu agree haya sasa kama venye tulikuwa tumekubali la meleni haiendi hivi then wacha tu tuifanye hivi na hivi na hivi lakini wewe ukinyamaza unaanza kujificha jificha hivi hata unaonekana wewe si mtu mwamini mtu mwaminifu and in actual sense you're struggling mm. speak out sema piga simu oende ama enda banku sema aki mimi sina kazi saa hii mm. nipatieni 3 months nipatieni 4 months mm. na mnakuwa na hiyo agreement huyu amesema tusimamishe tu, tu, tu kukata pesa hii mwezi ya January by June anaona mambo itakuwa mzu mambo itakuwa mzuri hivyo sasa na wewe ukienda pale ujitahidi kwa sababu umesaidiwa hata hapo sasa mnasaidia na hivyo sasa mm. eh na at, at what point uh, nafikiri tukienda kumalizia malizia do i notice kwamba hii kitu kidogo nikawa inaanza kunilemea what are some of the signs that kidogo deni it's beginning to choke me ukichukua hiyo deni siku na ile agreement mlikuwa nayo mm-hmm. I, one, one of the reasons utapata labda ulikuwa umechukua secured mm-hmm. si ndio umechukua mm-hmm. secured kuna ile asset na unaona kai hii pesa kwenye nileka haileti mm. haileti hiyo pesa unaona at that point number two labda salary ulikuwa na at, at the end of every month na unaona pesa kazi yako imi kazi yako mm. imeisha unaona number three pale kwa guarantors mm-hmm. umechukua ume kuna watu wanakugarantia alafu labda mkosane unajua inaenda ngai hivyo sasa mnakosana mm-hmm. urafiki na urafiki naisha hapo sasa in the event Unaona mimi siwezani na hii deni mm-hmm. hata heri usichukue. Mm-hmm. Ama ukienda pale lo unajua the thing about finance financial institutions they will entice you akwambia wewe hata 5 million unaweza chukua sai. Enyo tukue tu honest kama unaweza chukua 5 million uta, utakimbilia 1 million ndachukua 5. Usitachukua 5. Hey. Lakini in actual sense do you have the capacity to sustain your loan ya 5 million labda hata huna. Mm. Unaona? So ukwe tu honest na yourself. Mimi shida zangu ni pesa gani itanisukuma mbele kidogo. Wacha nichukue hiyo tu 1 million. Okay. Niweza pata 5 lakini mimi nataka tu 1 million for now. Ah yeah, mm-hmm. sawa. Kathleen tumalizie. Mm-hmm. Ni kipindi gani utaambia <laughs> mtu usichukue deni kama unafanya hivi na hivi? na hivi mm-hmm. then chukua deni mm-hmm. kama unafanya mm-hmm. hivi na mm-hmm. hivi mm-hmm. na hivi mm-hmm. usichukue deni mm-hmm. kama unachukua deni for personal use mm-hmm. kama unachukua deni kwenda kununua tv simu kupeleka girlfriend out sherehe what not usichukue deni hapo yana yeah, na smile <laughs> yan 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 i hope unasikia 
usichukue deni hapo uh-huh. deni inachukuliwa pale unaenda kuifanyia kazi yenye hiyo pesa itazaa okay. kwa sababu tulisema nini the price of money is what interest hivyo ndio nitasema okay yes na nichukue deni kama chukua deni kama unaenda kuiweka mahali itazaa uh-huh. So kama anachukua niweke kwa biashara by all means chukua. Unaona? Lakini usichukue deni kuanza biashara. Okay, hiyo ndio kitu kingine nilikuwa nataka kusema. Usichukue deni kuanza biashara. Kwa nini? Unajua as Kenyans tuko naita bia ya mimi nimefungua Mpesa shop. Wewe unataka kuchukua deni uende uweke pale Mpesa shop. Ukidhani nini? Juu ya anafanya vizuri pia mimi nitafanya vizuri. Mm. Wacha nikwambie markets are different. Mm-hmm very different lazima utest hiyo idea yako kama unataka kufungua salon lazima ukae chini utest hiyo idea yako kama itakuwa viable and number two, wewe labda hata hauna hiyo hati ya kukuwa mfanyabiashara hauna hiyo management skill nimeona tu amefanya tu eh, pia mimi ngoja pia nataka kufanya wewe una hiyo management skill number three, yeye yeah, yako na customer service experience mzuri yeye yeah, anajua ku retain customers wewe uko pale labda hata hauna hiyo so umechukua pesa yako umeka pale imekula 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 imekunywa maji bas sasa nisichukue ni usichukue una... anza na ile kidogo uko nayo chukua kama unachukua ku expand mm-hmm. that is the only point when ikuja kwa biashara chukua deni kama unachukua kuongeza kama stock naona ule mwenye alikuwa anauza smoky already yako na biashara ya smoky yeye anaweza chukua ende ongeze stock ya smoky mm-hmm. kwa sababu ame realize my customers ni we mm-hmm. ni wengi lakini wewe usichukue uende uweke pala ya tuanze pia wewe kuuza smoky oh kwa hivyo it is it is wrong it, for it me to say very wrong. nakimbia kwa sako nikachukua nianze kuuzia wadada nywele ah, ah, it is very wrong. anza na ile kidogo uko nayo hata okay. anza na zile savings uko nazo ndio ikifika mahali unaona kuna pesa inaingi kuna pesa mm-hmm. inaingia so ndachukua ndio ni boost capacity ya hii biashara sasa okay yes. sawa patin shot maybe kama uko nayo mm-hmm. um, kwa mtu ambaye anakusikiza mm-hmm. na maybe yeye maybe one ako amefika kipindi anaona kwamba i cannot get mm-hmm. out of this debt mm-hmm. imekuwa too much mm-hmm. mtu ambaye maybe anadaiwa mm-hmm. kwingine mm-hmm. na hajui vile ambavyo ataanza kulipa ile madeni mm-hmm. na mtu ambaye maybe anafikiria kuchukua mkopo mm-hmm. unaweza kuzungumza vipi kwa hawa watu watatu aya so huyu mwenye ako ana feel ni kama ame ako lost mm. maisha inakwanga pande shuka mm-hmm. leo unaweza feel hivyo kesho itakuwa sa itakuwa sawa kuwa, kuwa, kuwa hopeful okay. always have the hope keep mm-hmm. the hope unaona alafu angalia zile vitu unaweza fanya zitakuletea pesa usikimbilie Usk, kuchukua kuchukua deni there is always that thing that you can do labda wewe ni mtu mzuri sana unaweza fanya deliveries enda pale kwa duka useme nimerealize watu wengi wako wana takaka kutumia kutumiwa mimi nita, nita nipatie hiyo kazi. Huyu inataka kwenda pale nita I'll find my way nipeleke pale. Alafu ukwena uko nao client base. Hapo sasa utaanza kutengeneza pesa ya, pesa yako. Labda wewe unaweza kuwa mama mboga mzuri sana ama hata unajua kushuka watu nywele. Bila kushuka tu watu wapo kwa plot, kwa apartment, anza sasa kulipi kulipisha mm. sasa mm. kuwa tu na hizo skill sets zitakuletea pesa kidogo 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 hivyo sasa ndio unatoka from one situation to to Another. a better situation okay. unaona mm-hmm. na kama unadaiwa please lipa okay usikitu sikudanganya eti sasa you can maneuver you can be smart around it hakuna kitu kama hiyo mm. as long as mtu u, mtu anakudai pesa please lipa kwa sababu okay. deni ni kulipa find ways to pay that debt number three, kama unafikiria kuchukua deni chukua deni kama unatumia kitu yenye itakuja ikupatie pe itakuja ikupatie pesa usichukue deni uende ununue tv juu sikuizi unaona watu wako na tv kubwa au unataka pe uonekane wako na tv ku tv kubwa hapana uh-huh. ama sijui sasa umesikia watu wanapewa credit cards au unataka kukimbilia kuchukua credit card unaona hapana if you can avoid a debt avoid it as much as possible okay yes. thank you so much for coming uh, it's been very insightful na natumai kwamba tumejifunza tu mm-hmm. mawili matatu yes. so next week again yes. we do this again we do next this week? again yes next week tutakuwa yes. tunazungumzia kitu kingine so thank you so much for coming uh, have yourself a lovely a lovely a lovely, a lovely day lafu uh-huh. tukitaka kuwapata uh-huh. nakupata wapi Uh, Sentonomi mm-hmm. across all social media uta ukisearch uki Sentonomi utatupata pale. Okay. Yes yes hapo. Na As-